Good morning. We're live from Denver. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Sue. And we're with the sales team. And we're going to, we're talking to you about what's in the box. So today we're going to be showing you everything that comes in the box when you get your, your embroidery, your Melco EMT 16 modular embroidery machine. Let's show them what's in the box, okay. Sue. So we're going to move the box over here for a minute. And then we're actually going to start with what, when you unpack your machine, what comes with your machine. So when you first open the box of your machine, we refer to this as the Melco stop document. In here, it has information on assembling the cart. You can see we have a machine behind us. Um, placing the machine on the cart and then attaching the user interface. We'll explain that in a minute and then installing your software. Super important stuff. This document you don't want to lose. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is what's in this box. And this is your, um, your, your handles for lifting the machine. So Mary Beth and I are going to take the handles and we're going to show you properly how to put them on the machine now. Just in case, sometimes you get what's called a white glove service, and the trucker may do this for you. But if you don't have a white glove service, this is super important to be able to lift the machine correctly. So um, we're going to go ahead and place them on here just to show you. There's a little slot that these go into. And then it makes the machine really easy to lift. So you'll have to build the cart first, and there's instructions on that. And then you'll lift the machine onto the cart using these handles. Super important to use these handles. I'm going to also say that it's super important that you use two people. Yeah, that's two right. People, that's why yes. this, that, yeah. You need two people. It's heavy. And a little nifty trick. If you put them on um, upside down, you can hang your hoops on the side. Very nice. Just a little tip there. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is what's in this box. And this box is um, your, your uh, keyboard user interface that goes on the machine. You can see we have one on here already, but um, I'm just going to take the top off and show you. You need to attach this. Um, very easy to attach using two um, little screws that go at the bottom here. So super easy to attach. So that comes, in the, that comes with your machine as well. And then the next thing that actually comes with your machine, and we'll talk about the other box in a minute, is your machine operator's kit. So this has all your tools and oil and grease, and let me bring, get everything out to show you. So the first thing is this is your um, threader for getting the thread through the tubes. We, we also use canned air, um, but you can use this to get, and you'll learn this in training, but it's just a tool for you. The next is the... Um, is a sticker to put on on your keypad over here. Um, it just has all the, the hotkeys for running your machine. And it comes in a few different languages, so you want to use the language that you read best. Okay. And then um, we, have, we have red grease. Um, there's white grease. These are used for maintenance on your machine at a later time. Uh, your, um, there's some step throughs in the, in the software that step you through that. Uh, machine oil, very important. Um, there's a lot of places to oil on your machine, very important to do. And then um, let's go through, these are all your tools. So I think we were talking about before that you don't need to buy any tools. There's, all the tools come with your machine. So there's a couple screwdrivers, one for the bobbin case, one for needles. Anything else on that? I think that's, that's it. Yep. <clears throat> Allen wrenches. Yep. Uh, well, you'll need the big Allen wrench for removing the hoop arms later. So take that. And then this is a nice little spare parts kit. In the spare parts kit is <clears throat> some extra, we'll talk about just a couple. This is an extra bobbin case. Extra bobbin cases are super nice for maybe you want to run a black bobbin and a white bobbin. Maybe you want different tension on one bobbin than the other. Um, just to have an extra one anyway. In case you drop it and it breaks, you have an extra bobbin case. And then other super important thing in here, and you'll learn this in training, if I can get it out, is a needle orientation magnet. So this needle orientation magnet um, is used for 
uh, straightening your needle and getting it in right. And you'll learn this in training later. There's a really cool place to put this on the machine, actually. You can, a little tip, you can just stick it right up there and it just, it's a magnet. It sticks to the machine. And it, what's super important about having this is if your needle's in wrong, you're going to get thread breaks. Yeah, great. So great, this, great, is, uh, this yeah. is an extra check if you have your um, needle in properly. Yep, that's some great tools in here. And then just some extra fixtures and tools in here that you'll use later. So just nice to have. And then um, this tool is used for um, uh, uh, adjusting your, um, your cap driver. So, and then there's just another X cable tension uh, fixture in here. Um, for a later time, when you're, if you ever need to adjust them, we just send them ahead just in case. Okay, so that's your um, Melco operator's kit. So we'll go ahead and go to the next thing after that. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start pulling things out of the box that we placed down here, just so you know. Um, and then um, if Mary Beth thinks of something, she'll go over it. The same thing with me. This is a power cable. Um, the power cable goes to the back of your machine. And then um, you can hook this up with a, is a line conditioner. Yep, very important. We don't want to plug your electronics directly into the wall. You want a clean line. So you, it's very important to get a voltage stabilizer for your equipment. Hey, we forgot to mention, we have Nate in the background oh, doing camera for us. <laughs> when Scott you get started. and Mike are in their offices. They're going to field any questions anybody has. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Yeah, so um, Nate's super important to us because he does all this camera work and keeps us in line. Um, okay, so back to the cabling. So again, you get a power cable. goes on the back of the machine. This is your um, the cable that goes from the machine to your computer. Um, you, you have to have this hooked up so you can send designs to, um, to your embroidery machine. machine. That's super important. Next, we'll just go ahead and get this one out of the way. This is your um, tabletop that goes on the machine. It's got magnets on it, so it, it stays. So what it does is you just put it right here on the machine, and then um, you can either put stuff on top of it or what's the other what's the other really well, nice yeah if you have luggage uh golf bag larger items that you need this space for just remove this just remove that yep Mary, Mary Beth, can i ask you to step one way or the other so you're out of this shot and then we'll have sue do that again so oh, that everybody excuse me. can see i'm it. sorry i was in the shot didn't know Here, let's do that again sue so that everybody can see both from okay. michael um what's nice about it is it's also um i apologize i was looking at cameras when you said what you said but it's magnetic it's right. held in place magnetic. with magnets um the only kind of downside of that is if you set your scissors right on the magnet, you don't know why they don't want to come off. A lot so. of people put little things on the side of their machine here to hold their scissors and stuff. Yeah. So, cool. all right, Thank so you. I'll just leave that there. Yep, cool. So next is um, your hoops. So let's get out all the hoops. I'll get them. So you get two of, um, Yeah, we do. Sorry. <laughs> Trying to finagle here, <laughs> left and right. <laughs> so um, the hoops are, these are the hoops that come with the machine, the standard hoops. So you have the jacket back hoop. Um, the jacket back is 11.25 by 14.25, and you get two. So it's nice that you have one, and you have one on the machine, and you can be hooping one at the same time. So it's really nice to have two hoops. Um, this is the seven inch hoop, you get two of them, and then this one happens to be the, the five, little over five inch hoop. Um, you can order different hoops, but these are standard. So um, I'm going to go ahead and push these out of the way a little bit. And I'm going to get you the cap option. Yep, we'll, we'll talk about the cap option. While we're working on all of that, um, one thing that I should also mention is if you don't love the lovely colors that are on the table right now and you want it to actually match your machine, you can remove that film. So this is the cap option. Um, the cap option comes with. Nate, can we have the overhead, please? Thanks. The cap option comes. This is the driver. This is what goes on your machine. This red driver, and then you have two <coughs> cap hoops. Again, super nice because you can be hooping one while you have one on the machine, um, so you can constantly be make, doing production. 
So um, there's a couple extra little things in here, but you can see that's the cap option. So the next, Mary Beth is going to explain. This is also really important. So this is your, we call it a cap gauge. This is your hooping station for your hats. It um, has a C-clamp, so you need a table, some sort of tabletop to uh, uh, um, hook it to. Or you can, you can take this off, Nate, and hook it to the wall too, right? No? I this is only... This couldn't be a no, test. You, okay. You, what you can that, do though. That point is a pivot point, so I wouldn't do that. I, I one thing that I always told people is um, hook it to a surface that is appropriate height wise for you. Oh good. I'm way taller than a lot of Right, because um, it's yes. Yeah, you don't the people be that I had coming over. into class. So I had one set up for me on a bookshelf that was higher than the table that they were using. And it also helped for them to see things. Okay. So how I have mine set up is I have a a, a little uh, two by four. And I hook it to a two by four with little clamps, and it's really nice because it sticks out. So just just think that there's you can also there's other options for this hooking it to a table because some tables it may not actually be wide enough. Usually worked for most stuff though. As you can see, I can open it up. You could always a put a shim in there too. Yep. 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 And then just a little tip, we we put the uh, backing right in the um, excuse me. No, you're good in the um, inside of the gauge so it's just there convenient. This is heavy. You don't want to drop it on your foot. Yeah, definitely <laughs> not. There so but go. and so also now it's attached. Also just remember you're gonna have training with your machine, so um, we'll, they'll teach you how to use this. Absolutely. You'll, you'll get really good and okay. really familiar with how to use all these. Okay? You'll then, be sewing six hundred hats before you know it. <laughs> So um, this bag comes with your machine, um, super important. It will be closed up when you get it. Um, we're going to go over what's in the contents of this bag. So first when we pull it out, these are, oops, go ahead. These are your software CDs. So this one is your operating software and this one is your design shop software. And if you open them up, if I just open it real quickly, you can see there's a CD in there. These are, you don't want to lose these. These are super important. Um, on the back is your serial number. So when you're installing your software, you're going to need this. And I forgot to mention at the beginning, if you go to melco-service.com, you can go to your machine, which is the EMT 16 Plus. You can click on it, and you can find a PDF file on getting started, installing your software, everything we're talking about in this session. And that number that she's pointing to right now, um, that is what is used to activate your software um, and get you the level of software that you purchased. So uh, the next thing is you get some really nice design designs. So this is Action Illustrated. There's a whole bunch of designs on here. Um, this is Dakota um, Collectibles. They call it Quick Clicks. Um, you get free two months of um, designs. Really nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. Yep. <clears throat> you can actually go to their website and um, there's, there's, I think there's 20,000 designs for Dakota. There's, there's so many. Not that you're going to use stock designs for everything, but it's super nice just in case you need them. You know, you might have um, somebody in maintenance and their uh, HVAC guy. So you could go in and find something appropriate and you could actually create a logo for them without having to right. send it out if they didn't have a specific design in mind. Or just, you know, if you're trying to find a banner for something or... You need a flag. Right. A flag. It's definitely a flag. Yeah. There's all kinds of you stuff. You need a horse. Here. You need yep. a dog. They're right. all in there. Yep. And so the last thing that comes in here is what um, Melco is just offering these. It's two free digitized designs. So when you first get your machine and you get your software, it's, it's, a, it's something that's really nice because we'll digitize the first two designs for you. And then you'll know what a good design looks like. Um, so this is really nice. We use Q Digitizing and they do the designs for us. Um, but take advantage of this free offer when you get your machine. Definitely. So you've heard Scott and myself and Mike and Sam all talk about the quality of good digitizing and what that does for your sew outs and, and how you can avoid thread breaks and how you get a better sew out and all of that stuff. Um, so that's a really good way to look at that. And then 
Um, Doug, clever man that he is, said in order to keep track of those codes, he takes a picture of it with his smartphone. Oh, with these codes? Yeah. Oh, oh clever guy. Smart idea. Good idea. Yeah, it's really nice to, to make sure that make sure you're you're familiar with this on the back. And on that getting started, that that um, that first document that we talked about, the Melco Help document, um, there's information that helps you install this. So so make sure you you watch that. We have a great technical technical service phone department here too. So if you do need help, you can you can definitely call them. All right, so that's this. What's in the contents of this bag? Um, let's move on to Madeira. The best part. So one of our partners. Right. So we partner with Madeira. Um, Madeira is um, a place that you buy all your thread, your backing, your topping, your bobbins, needles, really all, everything you need for embroidery supplies. I would say one-stop shop, wouldn't you? Yep, it's um, just go to www.madeirausa.com. Um, I have it up, I can, I can bring it up over here if you wanna see um, real quick. Here's the website for Madeira. So it's super nice. Um, uh, Lots of tips about backing, what to use the backing for, tips Yeah, and there's on some needles. information in here on yeah, that too. Great stuff. So let's open it up and see what you get. <coughs> so the first thing you get is um, just some flyers um, on different services and um, different types of thread, stuff like that. The next thing you get is, uh, um, so here's a, just a, a pamphlet on um, the little thread, co I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> These they're are coasters. Coasters. And you'll see it on the machine. So the thread, most thread is 5,000 meters. But when you put the 1,000 meter cone on, you really need these coasters. So this just explains about the coasters and then why and how to put them on your machine. They're, it's super easy and you get 16 of them. And they look and like... typically I would buy the 5,000 meter cones. I'd only buy the 1,000 meter... Yeah, for samples. For samples yeah. or... Yeah. Yeah. Or if you're only going to do a job once and you yeah. know it. So... Um, so also some of the smaller weights come on the smaller... Oh, oh yeah. Point. The 60 yeah. weights. Yes. Right. The 60 weights. So if you buy 60 weight thread, um, it's for a real specific application like small lettering. Uh, I think it only comes in, in smaller cones. So. Nate, can you just zoom in on that a little bit for me? Uh, oh, there no, you go. Okay. Oh, oh, there you go. You can see it up there. Small lettering. Small on, lettering. On her cuff. Go like this. Up. Up the oh, up. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> all right. We're so, we're good. You get it. It's really little. <laughs> it's tiny little lettering. Using 60 we're way live, thread. folks. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So, the next thing you get is... Um, is a little some information. This is really nice on Very. all the backings and toppings. We were kind of even taking a better look at it. The, Madeira just keeps doing better and better on giving you information. So in here is um, information on cutaway, tearaway, all the different types of backings, specialty backings, why you'd use them, stuff like that. So in, good information in here. And then you really get some real life backing. They actually give you backing. Um, so this is tearaway. And by the way, um, when you have your training, they will teach you. We will teach you why to use different types of backing. You're going to use tearaway for, for, for stable fabrics. You're going to use cutaway for not so stable fabrics. And then they give you back, back uh, cap backing. So this is some nice cap backing. Pre-cut so you know when you get your roll, perfect size. Uh, oops, here's the cutaway, <coughs> so a whole bunch of cutaway for you. And then um, some topping. So this is used for um, fabrics that um, have a nap, and you'll learn about this in training as well, but it's topping. So it even says Aqua Supreme on it, so you'll be able to understand what it so is. So when I buy backing, am I going to get it cut like this? Or? So no, when you buy backing, you can make the decision to buy backing either pre-cut or on the roll. Perfect. And there's different ounces, there's all kinds of different And it's um, probably less expensive on the roll, right? Right, it's less expensive. Okay. I, I prefer to buy it on the roll because you can cut what you need. So you want to visit um, Madeira's website, and you'll see all the different options they have for backing. So also in this box is um, the clover. So Madeira thread, um, and Nate has a good point on this one that he told us yesterday. Take them all out because they smell like little ti uh, tires when you first get them. Yeah, soccer field. Yeah. So these clovers, 
they actually go on your machine. So this one does not have a clover, and you can see the thread moves around a little oh, more. Um, this one has a clover, and it's real stable. It doesn't, it doesn't move around. So we recommend putting the clovers on, on here before you put the thread on. Is that it, Nate? Can you think of anything else? I guess that's it, right, on the clovers? Yeah, you can check those again if you want. Okay. Yeah. So see how it moves around quite a bit? I mean, it's okay. It's and not going to, nothing's going to go wrong, but it's just nice. It's nice and sturdy. So you get 16 of these clovers. And by the way, you wouldn't use the clover with these. So um, when you're putting the coasters on, you don't need the clover. So and you get, again, you get 16 of the, or 16 of those as well. So you get some extra bobbins. Um, I were you, if I were you, I would order some right away. And these are just Coates bobbins that come with it. And then, um, really nice. So typically we use pre-wound bobbins? Yep. Oh yeah, pre-wound bobbins. Why don't we want to wind our own? Because it's really inexpensive to buy them. So, um, and they're very consistent on the tension. Uh, you buy them by, uh, by the gross. It's 144 in a box. Um, and they're just, it's just real simple. It's just disposable bobbins. She hit the nail on the head. It's the tension. If your bobbins aren't tension, you know, the tension isn't correct, then again, you have issues in your sewing process. Right. So those are real nice bobbins. The other thing you get is you get some sharp and ballpoint needles. You'll get some, and, and you will learn about how to change your needle and what a sharp point, sharp and a ballpoint needle is when you do your training. Super important. We also just did a big old video on that one. Oh, okay. About I didn't. Oh, yeah, a month that's and change right. ago, yep. whatever that snowstorm was. Oh, Nate did it from home on the snowstorm. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, a lot of this stuff we've covered too on other videos. We have a ton of videos on uh, YouTube, so check them all out. Yeah. You get some tweezers, some nice tweezers. Some people's fingers are real big from when they're threading the machine. The tweezers are nice. Um, then you get some nippers. So nippers are for cutting maybe threads afterwards or cutting, cutting the thread before you thread the needle so you get a nice clean thread. So it's real nice to have a pair of nipples, N -n nippers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so thread. Oh, well, before we do thread. Actually, we could do thread first. We'll do thread chart. So, <laughs> very bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're making me laugh. I know. Um, so Madeira has lots of different types of thread. So this is poly neon. This is what we send out with the machine. This is what it defaults to in your software. I swear, um, they have more colors than bare paint. They have a lot of colors. And, and there's information, not only that, there's information about um, conversion to Pantone to Madeira on the back. There's lots of good information on that thread chart. That's one of my favorite. <laughs> in the videos that we've done from my office you saw my back wall and all the threads that were on it and so that's <laughs> a favorite part of mine the other thing that i really like about that thread chart is it has indications for what colors come in what weights of thread oh, so that's... everything on there is in 40 weight and then you look at uh, color coded dots beside the number so you can see which ones come in 60 which ones come in 75 it's really handy for that. Right. So 40 weight is your really your go-to weight. That's your typical embroidery weight. And then 60, 75, that's your real specialty weight for real real tiny skinny little stitches and stuff like that. Um, like Mary Beth tried to show on her. Right, yeah. So the and uh, so the other thing you get is you get thread. So it's it's nice to know that you're gonna oops, I think I can show this. You'll get 16 cones. Yep. So you'll get some thread, you'll get thread, you'll be ready to go when you get your machine. And then um, last but not least is a little, um, uh, uh, what, do you, what do you call catalog. it? Catalog. Catalog <laughs> on everything that Madeira offers. If you don't want to go to their website, you get a catalog. So a catalog comes with the machine. So some people like to flip through it, but it's there just in case you need it. And I think that's it on the Madeira stuff. Yep. Yep. So that's on Madeira. let's talk about. I mean, that's like those. Uh catalogs I used to get as a kid, that, you know, right. Sears or whoever would put out, it was the toy catalog, it was the wish list for Christmas. Exactly. That's my adult wish list. Exactly. I, I like having the catalog. I mean, I don't mind looking online, but I, I do like having the catalog as a reference. So I think we got through everything that's what's in the box, what comes with your machine, but um, so we wanted to show you some other popular items that um, that we think are really nice to buy with your machine. So these are optional. Um, some people get them right off the bat. The first thing is the, the Melco, um, the bobbin tension gauge. 
So Mary Beth really likes this, especially I do. for new customers. <clears throat> um, you want to talk about this a bit? Yeah, um, I've had instructors say they wish every one of our customers had one of these. It just takes the guesswork out of tensioning, especially if you have no experience. Right. And it's important, and this, this will give you consistent. And some people are running two shifts. So I may adjust the bobbin differently than Sue adjusts the bobbin, right. and then we're getting different quality in our, in our stitching. So this is a, a really good item. Really I nice think tool. it's like, what, it's 70 bucks? Yeah, this. yeah, it's a really so, nice tool. Yeah, it is you a just nice get a tool. real consistent tension. It just this takes everything out of it. Yeah, it takes the guesswork out. Absolutely. This is another real um, popular item. It's the back of the hat clamp. So um, the cap um, dr uh, cap frame that we showed you earlier will sew basically ear to ear. So you can get the sides and you can get the front. So it's about 14 inches. In one hooping. In one hooping, very good, yes. But the back, so if you ever wanna do a website or somebody's name or a flag or something on the back of the hat, um, this is a really nice tool. This actually attaches to your cap driver and you put the cap in here and you can look at the field. You have a huge sew field for sewing caps. So it's called the back of the hat clamp. So can I hoop on the machine with yep. this then? Yep, this actually goes on the machine, okay. on your cap driver, and you'll learn that in training. Um, if you buy this, you, the, then you actually place the cap on here on the machine. Okay. Yep, good question. Cool. Good question, Mary Beth. So this is kind of, a, this is called a magnetic hoop. Um, it's made by Mighty Hoop, and it, there's lots of different sizes. There's, I think there's probably, what, 10 or 15 different sizes? A lot. This is the 5.5. This is nice for left chest, but what this is for, it's, it's magnetic. It's really strong. Um, so it's a clamping system basically, but it's a magnetic hoop and it's used for sewing on like, think about a Carhartt jacket and above the pocket and it's hard to hoop it because the pocket's in the way. You can't really push a hoop in there. It's really nice for that. It's really nice for um, saddle pads. Saddle pads are super thick. You can't even hoop a saddle pad. It's almost too thick. So there's other options we'll talk about in a minute for a saddle pad, but any other things you can think of? Karate belts, um, towels, you know, anything. And, and some people with a, with a hoop, you're pushing inside of it, and some people it hurts their wrists. So because they're pushing. With this, there's no pushing. It's more of a clamping system. So Mighty Hoop, um, we, we just sell their products, Melco does, and um, a lot of people are going to Mighty Hoops these days. That's for sure. Yep, it's really the range. Not that you can't use these. These are great hoops. I use these every single day. But these are just nice for hard to hoop items. Yep, and for people who have trouble with their wrists. Right. It's great. Okay. So no carpal good. tunnel with these. Okay, I need to interrupt you for just a second. Um, there was a question on what is the recommended bob intention um, using the gauge for, and then a specific machine and. The, the question was about the XT, um, but this would apply to XTS, EMT-16, uh, machine, 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 machine. Um, using the gauge or just the test? Using the gauge. Okay. And so what are those numbers and where do you find those numbers? Um, a lot of times they are uh -oh. either going to be in the technical manual or in the ops manual that you can find on that Melco service page. Yep. So. Um, there's there all that information is in the is, is in the manual on this stuff. So you can find that. Just go to melco-service.com, right. and then you. Would you swap to that? What's that? Would you swap to that? Oh no. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I have it up here. So if you go to melco-service.com, I'm on their website, and then you can actually click on the on the EMT 16 machine, and then you'll see it, it comes up with a there's a manual here, a PDF manual, and then. Um, so in, you just need to you just need to go find your machine and find which manual. Now oh, I, yes, I do apologize. That's correct. You will not always find that number in a specific manual. On on older machines, it may be in the technical manual, and on mm. newer machines, it may be in the ops manual. Right. Um, it just depends on which machine and who wrote the manual. I feel like Sarah, somebody did a video on this. I feel like I saw it online, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I'll check it out. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the Melco Fast Clamp. So this is just another um, popular item, very popular. We've sold lots of these. Um, the Melco Fast Clamp Pro has lots of different stuff for you to, you know, for us to show you. So, if you're the, what this is for is backpacks, shoes, Christmas stockings, really anything that you can't hoop. Um, 
you, and when you hoop a Christmas stocking, if you've ever hooped a Christmas stocking or think about that, it's a round hoop. So you, you don't, you don't have round, a big sew field. Yeah. So with the clamping system, it comes in three different sizes. And we've d actually done a session on this. If you look up Melco Fast Clamp Pro, you'll see that um, Nate has actually done a session on how to use this. But it's, it's, there's, again, there's three sizes from going from real small like koozies you can actually do koozies to, to larger things like bags and backpacks um, for clamping. So you get a, a lot Golf more. Golf bags, yeah. luggage, horse halters, dog collars, leashes. Yeah. I did a, a, a monogram on a leather purse that I have and I use this rather than the conventional method because I, I got no marring on my um, leather. Right. I uh, met a lady at a trade show, Sue, she actually did the front of her UGG, she put a monogram on. Yeah, oh yeah, the, um, shoes, boots. Yep. Yep, cowboy boots, stuff like that. Yep. Um, anything that's, again, anything that's hard to hoop. And we both feel that this is really pretty much a necessity to almost yep. any embroidery business. So I think everybody needs a Fast Clamp Pro. <laughs> <laughs> They're really nice. I, I, I don't know that I could have a business without something. And there's one Some other thing that I business. think everybody should have in their business. Oh yeah, we got start. one more thing to yep. show. Yeah, yep. this, this excites me. <laughs> I think everybody would like to have their their 50th shirt hoop just like their first shirt, right? So, I'll move this. Oh, no, I need that. This yes. is the hooping station. Go yep. ahead. So, um, uh, this is the hoop master, um, and you. This is again optional or, or popular item, um, especially so. At the beginning, you're you're not going to be really good with hooping because you've never hooped and getting things straight and getting things consistent. Uh, you can do it, definitely. You can do it, and you don't have to have this. It's just a nice popular item or optional item. Um, so, this right here is the fixture for the actually the mighty hoop. So, every hoop that we sell, our mighty hoop sells, is um, has a fixture for it. So you can you basically buy this this. Uh, the Platform, base. Yep, the mm -hmm. base. And then you get the fixtures for the hoops. And they do have smaller fixtures too. So mm -hmm. like if you had this, you could actually just get a base for this. You wouldn't need this. But this is nice because you actually thread your shirt on here and every single one of your left chest is going to be in the same spot. Or if you were to be doing a jacket back. Oh, jacket back. I actually couldn't do jacket backs without, without a hooping device because it, you're trying to, the jacket has to be turned around. You're trying to push down on the buttons or, or whatever. And you really can spread it out here. So you're just focusing on the back of the jacket. How about your geese you do? Oh yeah, I, so I do a lot of gr karate geese. And karate <coughs> geese are, you know, there's the, there's the whole back of it. Um, I, you have to be able to spread it out and come down here. And it's just important. I think it's super important if you do jacket backs. And it helps you get it straight. Yeah. If it's not straight, what is it? Yeah. Crooked. Right. So, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you want to have straight embroidery. <laughs> exactly. Your customers will want you to have straight embroidery. Exactly. All right. So um, I don't know if there's any more questions, Nate. Did we? Uh, we've, sorry. We've been answering them as we've gone. I think, okay. I think we've got any, everything. If we've missed something. Um, oh, I did want to say one more thing. Go ahead. You can go to www.melcouniversity.com. And when you first get your equipment, this is where you schedule your training. We send you information about that, but um, you definitely want to go to melcouniversity.com and schedule your training. So that's really the only other thing I wanted to say. So uh, to finish up on the comments, um, if you want to keep commenting, uh, we will be checking in to the comments throughout the day and, and later on. Also, um, as was mentioned, uh, this has been recorded as we've been right. recording live um, and will be published as soon as I get back to my office and can push it um, to the server. So thank you so much. Yep. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us. <clears throat> Have a great day.